All right, today we're going to take a flight to Circleville, Ohio. Someone has asked me several times on in the YouTube comments, so I'm obliging. Obliging? Obliging? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, keep in mind. Also, keep in mind that Circleville, like many other smaller places, probably doesn't have very accurate buildings mapped on the ground. But let's check it out. Landing gear in. Flaps retracted. No. And basically, we have to head south. Uh, Circleville's directly south of Rickenbacker International Airport, which is south of Columbus. We want to follow 23 or 104. We should pass over Asheville and South Bloomfield before hitting Circleville. Let's see if we can find these. Let's see if we can find it. This may be 23. Let's follow this south and see what we get. I'm going to get some altitude so I can get a better visual. We're using live weather, so this is pretty close to what the actual conditions would be if we were flying in this area right now. Nope. Got my directions all messed up. This may be 23 right here. We're going to follow the river that I don't know how to pronounce. Somebody please let me know. Trey, how do you pronounce this river? Okay, so what do we got down here? Looks like we got some act, got some buildings here. Is this Asheville and South Bloomfield? I think it is. And there in the distance should be Circleville down there, directly ahead. So I read the Wikipedia article, and Circleville, I mean, I live pretty close to it, but I don't think I've ever been there. It sounds really interesting. It was built inside an old Indian earthwork circle, like an old Indian mound. It was a circle shape. And they built the town in the 1700s, I think late 1700s, early 1800s, inside the circle. And it had a circular layout. And then it's really sad, though, because in the 1800s, like mid-1800s or thereabouts, I guess they everyone got irritated by the circle and wanted to destroy the circle. I just wanted the town to be normal, like a grid. So basically there's nothing left of the circle as far as I understand. It sounds like a shame. It's also home to a some kind of a pumpkin festival. And there's even a, supposed to be a really cool pumpkin water tower. That's right, I said it, cool pumpkin water tower. But because these little towns don't have the best buildings on the ground, Probably the pumpkin water tower is not going to look like it's supposed to. It's probably just going to be flat. But let's find out. Let's find that pumpkin water tower. There's also a museum to Ted Lewis, who is some type of uh, vaudevillian character, I guess. Comedian? Showman? Vaudeville movies TV? Apparently it was very popular at some point in the nation's history, assuming first half of the 20th century. Where is the pumpkin water tower? Okay, well, pretty sure that was Circleville, and I didn't see any pumpkin water tower. we got to go back and look. Well, let's land at Clark's Dream Strip. I have no idea what that is, but let's see if we can find it. Keep in mind, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So this is going to be an incredibly messy landing. 
but I suspect we shall survive. Land on the road, how's that? Oh god. Oh dear. Oh my. How about a field? Fields as good as a road. I really am a hero. Jump that tree. Yeah, look at that. Expert. They'll be teaching that maneuver for a hundred years. Late. <laughs> 